we are going to start now the second lecture of chapter 13 class 9th mathematics surface area and volumes so in this lecture we will study about the surface area and volumes related to cylinders so cylinder we are seeing we, uh, it is if we talk about the shapes then the circular pillars we are seeing circular pipes we are saying pencils circular pencils mirroring jars road rollers gas cylinders these all are examples of this shape cylinder this is not uh, we are not talking about the exact definition of the cylinder that how cylinder is generated and what is the mathematical definition of cylinder we are just talking about the shape that how the cylinders look like and uh, the area and volume we have to calculate so to calculate the volume uh, the shape is shown over here in this figure so what we see is that if the radius of this circular portion over here this is right circular cylinder right circular cylinder means that the base is a circle and this angle over here this is 90 degree so if this base is a circle of this circle it is r then the area of this portion it is pi r square and height of the cylinder is this is the height of the cylinder so area of this lower portion we are saying it is pi r square and uh, the height is h so the volume of this cylinder is we are multiplying these two values over here and we are getting it is pi r square into h so the vol formula for the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h cubic units next we have two kind of area for the cylinder one is the curved surface area and one is the total surface area curved surface area means we are talking about this region over here this is the curved region we have this region we are talking about and the area of this region it is called the curved surface area so how we calculate the curved surface area is that if we cut this cylinder along a line over here if suppose the cylinder is there and we cut it along this line like this we cut it like this then what we obtain is we will obtain a rectangular sheet and the breadth of this rectangular sheet will be equal to h <coughs> h and the length of this rectangular sheet will be equal to the perimeter of this circle we are saying we have cut this circle from here and we have uh, this circle is there we have cut it from this point and this becomes a straight line over here so what is the length of this straight line it is 2 pi r so the radius of this circle it is r so the perimeter of this circle will be 2 pi r it means length of this line will be 2 pi r so when we cut the cylinder from along this line we will obtain a rectangular sheet and this length we have it is 2 pi r so what is area of this rectangle now it is 2 pi r h and this is the formula we are saying this is the formula for the curved surface area of the cylinder next we are left with these two portions over here these two circular portions over here i'm talking about this is the top part and this is the bottom part and what is the area of these two part it is pi r square so the total area of the cylinder it is 2 pi r h is the curved surface area or the lateral surface area and pi r square is the area of the bottom and pi r square is the area of the top so the total answer to pi r we take common it is r plus h so the total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r into r plus h or you can write it is 2 pi r h that is the area of the curved surface plus 2 pi r square this is area of the two circular portions on the top and the bottom of the cylinder so these are the formulas that we have to remember that the volume is pi r square h curved surface area is 2 pi r h and the total surface area is 2 pi r into r plus h next we are talking about the hollow cylinders so solid like iron pipes rubber tubes uh, they are in the shape of hollow cylinders so if we want to find the area on the volume of these surfaces so what we are saying is 
hollow cylinder we are talking about now that we have a cylinder over here so we are saying that uh, the internal and external radius of these hollow cylinders we are talking about this internal radius is small r and this external radius is capital r the height it is h then the volume of the material that is used so volume of the material used means we are talking about the uh, volume of the external cylinder minus volume of the internal cylinder so it is pi capital r square minus pi small r square into h similarly the curved surface area will be the total surface area this is the external area and this is the internal area so external area will be 2 pi r capital r h plus 2 pi small r h this is the area this is the external part and this is the internal part and the total surface area we are saying it is uh, this is the curved surface area then we have the area of the circular regions we are talking about the hollow cylinder it means this portion we are talking about over here and this portion we are talking about over here uh, these two portion these are open these are not closed so this is the curved surface area this is the area of this portion and this portion means this outer portion inner portion inner portion and outer this curved area we are talking about from inside and outside then we have to calculate the area of this portion over here this circular portion and area of this circular portion these two areas we are talking about so the area of this outer circle it is pi capital r square and area of this inside portion it is pi r square so this is the area of this portion similarly the area of this portion is pi r capital r square minus pi small r square so these are two portions over here so the final answer we will get it is 2 times pi r capital r square minus pi small r square so this is the area total area of this uh, hollow cylinder we are talking about next we are given that uh, the cylinder is having the radius it is basis radius is 14 centimeter and height is 30 centimeter we have to find the volume uh, curved surface area and total surface area so this base area means we, uh, the radius r and this is the value of h the formulas we know it is pi r square h this is the formula for the volume so when we substitute this value it is pi is 22 by 7 you can use uh, pi as 22 by 7 or you can use it like 3.14 so it depends upon the question that how we are using this value so it is into 14 into 14 why it is r square r is 14 into 30 so this 7 and 14 gets cancelled and when you multiply these values you will get the answer is 18480 and the units for volume we know it is centimeter cube similarly we have to calculate the curved surface area so it is formula we know it is 2 pi r h how we remember this 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle and we have multiplied it with h so the answer is 2 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 30 again these two gets cancelled and when you multiply these values you will get the answer is 2640 centimeter square and then last we have to calculate the total surface area for total surface area uh, this is the curved surface area we have to add the area of two circles uh, the top and the bottom part so it is 2 into 22 by 7 into r square is 14 into 14 again these two gets cancelled you will get the value of this much portion and you will add to this area you will get the answer or what you can do is you can directly substitute the value in this formula and the answer we are getting it is 2 into 22 by 7 it is pi then r is 14 then r plus h is 14 plus 13 so it is up to you that you directly want to use this formula or you want to uh, find the area of the circle and add it to this value so it depends upon how the calculation becomes easier 
so it is up to you that how you want to solve these kind of questions next we have is the total surface area of a cylinder of radius 7 cm is 880 cm square we have to find the area uh, height and the volume of the cylinder we know that the total surface area of the cylinder the formula is 2 pi r into h plus r and this value is equal to 2 pi radius is given to be 7 it is h plus r is equal to 880 centimeter square this is given to us that the total area is equal to this so in place of pi you can write it is 22 by 7 so what we get is h plus r is 7 that is equal to 880 into 7 by 2 into 22 into 7 so this 7 gets cancelled over here and this 2 gets cancelled over here it is 440 and this 22 gets cancelled over here and the answer we are left over here it is 20 so the value of h we have it is 20 minus 7 is equal to 13 centimeters this is the value of the h we have it is 13 centimeter this is the height of the cylinder Next, we have to calculate the volume and the formula for volume we know it is pi r square h. So, it is pi, pi means we are talking about 22 by 7. r square means radius value it is given 7 into 7 and height we have calculated it is equal to 13. So, when you will solve this value, you will get the answer is 2002 centimeter. I am again repeating this thing that writing centimeter cube, writing centimeter, these units are very important over here that the area it is square units, length it is like this centimeter, meter like this and the volume we have it is in the cubic units. Now next is the curved surface area and the volume of a pillar are 264 meter square and 296 meter cube respectively. So pillar means it is in the form of a cylinder. So curved surface area we know it is 2 pi r h. It is given to be 264 meter square. And volume means pi r square h is given to be 396 meter square meter cube. We have to find the diameter and height of the pillar. So if we divide these two equations, if we divide these two equations, this pi gets cancelled, h gets cancelled, and this r gets cancelled. So we are left with r is equal to 396 into 2 by 264 and the answer you will get it is equal to uh, 3. So radius is 3 what we have to calculate is we have to calculate the diameter and we know that the diameter is double of the radius so the answer we will get the diameter of the pillar is 6 meters radius is 3 diameter is 6 meters next we have to calculate the height of this pillar so in any of these two equation you can substitute this value suppose i am substituting in this first equation so what i will get is 2 into 22 by 7 into 3 into h that is equal to 264 so the value of h we will have it is 264 into 7 by 2 into 22 into 3 when you will solve this value you will get it is 132 next this 3 gets cancelled and we are left with this 44 then this 22 gets cancelled and we are left with this 2 so it is 2 into 7 that is equal to 14 so what we get is that the height of the pillar is this height of the pillar is 14 meters. Now next question we have how many cubic meters of earth must be dug out of to sink a well 14 meter deep and having a radius of 4 meter. If the earth taken out is spread out on a plot of dimensions 25 into 16 meter what is the height of the platform so formed. So first of all we have to find that how much earth is dug out. 
so it is given that the well is 14 meter deep it means this is the value of h and radius r is 4 meters so first of all we are finding the volume of the earth dug out from the well so it is pi r square h cubic units and the answer we will obtain for this it is pi is 22 by 7 uh, radius that is given to us it is 4 meter so it is 4 into 4 and height that is given to us it is 14 meter so it is into 14 so the answer with that we will get over here this 7 gets cancelled over here it is 2 and on multiplying this value it is get 704 meter cube now the area of the given plot is 25 meter into 16 meter so it is 25 into 16 meter square that is equal to 400 meter square now the volume of the platform formed that will be equal to the volume of the earth dug out that similar kind of question we have done when we were talking about the cubes and cuboids so we are saying the height of the platform will be area of the given plot into height that should be equal to the volume of the earth dug out so what we get is that h is equal to 704 by 400 so the value of h that we will get it is 1.76 meter this is the height of the platform so formed so in this question it is given that a well of inner diameter 7 meters is given to us and uh, it is dug 15 meter deep so we are talking about a well uh, that whose inner diameter we are saying it is 14 meter it means its radius is 7 meter and this height it is given to be 15 meter and that is taken out of it has been evenly spread all around it to a width of 7 meters so we have dug this well and we have taken the earth out and we have spread that on the on this portion like this up to some height over here so what we are talking about is that the earth we have taken out we have spread that over here in this portion we have spread that earth so we have to find the height of this embankment so the width of this much portion is given to be 7 meters again so we are saying the radius of the well that is given to us it is 7 meter and the depth that is given to us it is 15 meter so the volume we will get it is pi r square h so the answer we obtain it is 22 by 7 it is pi then r square it is 7 into 7 and height we have it is 15 so the total answer we will get it is 2310 meter cube now this is the volume or the amount of the earth that is being dug out from this well now this earth is being kept on the boundary of this well up to the radius of 7 meters so we are talking about we have something like this that this well is there its length is 7 and this width is again 7 so we want to calculate the area of this portion the area of this embankment we are talking about why we are talking about the area because we have to calculate the volume of this portion this cylindrical shell we can say or hollow cylinder we are saying so the volume of this portion will be uh, the radius of this larger portion is 14 meter and the smaller is 7 so its area is pi into 14 square minus pi into 7 square so pi is common from this it is 14 square minus 7 square so this becomes pi into 14 plus 7 into 14 minus 7 so it is pi into 14 plus 7 is 21 and 14 minus 7 is 7 so this is the area of this region this region we are talking about this is the area of this region now the volume of this hollow cylinder will be the area suppose the height of this that we want to calculate we want to find the height suppose we are saying that height is equal to h so this volume will be this area into h and that is equal to 2310 meter cube that is the earth dug out from this well 
that is equal to the earth dug out from this well so we get h is equal to 2310 this pi we are writing it is 22 by 7 so it is into 7 by 22 into 21 into 7 so this 7 gets cancelled and when you solve this value you will get uh, if we divide it with 2 it is 11 over here and it is 2 1 5 and 5 so it is 1 1 5 5 by 11 into 21 next we divided with 3 it is 7 over here and it is 3 8s are 24 and 3 5s are 15 then we divide it with 7 and we get it is 7 5s are 35 and 7 5s are 35 and 11 and 55 get cancelled and we are left with 5 over here so what we get is that the height of the embarkment formed is 5 meter the height of this embarkment formed is this 5 meter this is the value of h that we have calculated now in this question we are given a roller of diameter 84 centimeter we are saying a roller is there and its diameter is 84 centimeter it means the radius of this roller it is 42 centimeter and the width is 120 height you can say or width you can say it is 120 centimeter it is given that a playground is there this is a playground and we want to roll this roller on this playground we have rolled like this then next we will roll like this then next we will roll like this then how many revolutions are required it takes 500 complete revolutions to level a playground we have to find the cost of leveling it at rupees 5 per square meter so what we have to calculate is it is given that it makes 500 complete revolution complete revolution means that if we start rolling it uh, from this point it will revolve this is one revolution then next again it will move like this this is, will be second revolution then again it will move like this it will be third revolution so 500 revolutions it will take to completely cover this area so it is what we require is we need the curved area of this roller first so curved area of this roller will be the formula we know it is 2 pi r h so it is 2 into 22 by 7 radius is 42 and h is 120 so when we solve this value we get the answer is 31680 centimeter square this is the area covered by the roller in one this is area covered by the ruler in one revolution we are saying how many revolutions are required it is 500 revolutions are required so we multiplied with 5 so it means this is the area of the playground that we have the answer we are getting it is 31680 into 500 and the answer we are getting it is centimeter square we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 1 meter square that is equal to centimeter square so we are saying 1 centimeter square is equal to 1 by meter square so when we convert this answer into meter square in case of centimeter we are writing it is 10,000 meter square so the answer that we will get it is 1584 meter Scale. The rate of leveling is rupees 5 per square meter. So it is given that for 1 meter square area, the cost of leveling is rupees 5. So for this much area, 1, 5, 8, 4 meter square of area, the cost will be 5 into 1, 5, 8, 4 rupees. What is 5 into 1, 5, 8, 4 rupees? This is 5 into 1584 rupees. It is rupees 7920. Now the next question is find the number of coins 1.5 centimeter in diameter and 0.2 centimeter thick 
to be melted to form a right circular cylinder of height 5 cm and diameter 4.5 cm so we are given that some coins we have and that coin that we have it is in the shape of cylinders we are suppose saying this is the coin that we have and we have to make a cylinder from this coin from these all coins and uh, for these coins it is given that the diameter is 1.5 cm and their thickness is the thickness of these coins it is 0.2 cm these coins are to be melted this yes, so for there are n number of coins and they are melted and they form a right circular cylinder of height 5 cm and the radius of the cylinder or the diameter of the cylinder that is given to us is 4.5 centimeter so what is common between these two thing that the volume of these n coins that should be equal to the volume of this cylinder so suppose the volume of these coins is v and the volume of this cylinder is capital v so what we have is n into v is equal to capital v number of coins we have to calculate so it is capital v over small v what is the value of capital v the formula we have it is pi uh, radius is 4.5 pi 2 square and height is 5 upon what is the value of small v it is pi the radius in this case it is 1.5 by 2 square into height in this case it is 0.2 so this pi gets cancelled in both these cases so what we have is it is 4.5 into 4.5 into 5 upon 1.5 into 1.5 into 0.2 this 2 is there so it comes in the denominator this 2 is there this will come as the numerator so these two gets cancelled then this decimal and this decimal this decimal and this decimal gets cancelled so what we get is 15 3 45 15 3 45 five so the answer we will get it is equal to uh, this decimal gets cancelled and we will get 10 over here and this 2 is a 10 so the answer we will get it is 2 2 5 and this is the value of n that is the number of coin required that is equal to 2 2 5 so we need not to solve these values we are talking about the volume that we are calculating over here we need not to solve these volumes first otherwise our calculation will become very lengthy so in place of solving them we just keep these values like this and we see that what is being cancelled out and we will get the value of n now next it is given that 2.2 cubic decimeter of brass is to be drawn into a cylindrical wire of diameter 0.50 cm so over here the units are cubic decimeter and over here the units are centimeter so we convert the decimeters to centimeters so what we know is that uh, one decimeter that is equal to 10 centimeter so one decimeter cube that will be equal to 10 into 10 into 10 centimeter cube now we have is 2.2 decimeter cube so the answer we get it is 2.2 into 1000 that is equal to 2200 cm cube so this volume of the brass that we have it is 2200 cm cube now the cylinder that is to be drawn it has diameter this so the volume of both these will be same so the length of the wire we have to calculate so suppose the length of the wire it is we are talking about length of the wire means we are talking about now the height h we are saying the length of the wire we are talking about it is height h then the volume of the cylinder we know it is pi r square h pi is 22 by 7 r is 0.5 by 2 0.5 is the diameter so 0.5 by 2 is the radius then we have h we have to calculate and this value should be equal to 2200 0 
so the value of h that we have it is 2 2 0 0 into 7 into 2 into 2 over 22 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 this 22 gets cancelled over here we are left with 100 so the answer that we will get it is when we will write this 0 0.5 as 1 by 2 this 0 0.5 as 1 by 2 these 2 will come over here so we are left with 100 7 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 these 2 value these are coming from here so the final answer that you will get it is 11200 centimeter when we will convert them to meter it is 112 meters so the length of the wire is 112 Now next we are given the external diameter of a lead pipe is we are given a pipe over here and the external diameter of this pipe we are saying this is the pipe that we have and the external diameter means we are talking about this length over here it is 2.4 centimeter and the thickness of this pipe it is 2, 2 mm so first thing is this unit is centimeter this unit is mm next the weight of the pipe of length 7 meter the length of this pipe is 7 meter so it is being given that 1 cubic centimeter of lead weights 10 grams so what we do is we convert all these values in centimeters so when we convert this value in centimeter it is uh, 2 by 10 centimeter and when we convert this value this is 700 centimeter so what is the uh, volume of the lead we are talking about so it is the volume of this inner portion over here it is pi the radius of this inner portion will be uh, the radius over here it is by 2 that is equal to 1.2 centimeter so it is 1.2 centimeter this is for the ex external portion minus what is the thickness over here it is 0 0.2 so this is the area of the internal portion and when we multiply it with 700 we get the volume of the internal portion similarly the volume of the external portion will be pi into 1.2 square into 700 so what is the volume of the lead it is pi into 700 common and what we are left over here this value is 1 square so it is 1.2 square minus 1 square so it is pi into 700 into this is a square minus b square so it is 2.2 .2 into 0 0.2 now this this is this, the unit for this is centimeter cube so this is the volume of the lead next it is given that one cubic centimeter of lead weights 10 gram so this much cubic centimeter of the lead will weight 10 into 22 by 7 into 700 into 2.2 into 0 0.2 this 7 gets cancelled it is 100 over here and when we solve this value we will get it is 9680 grams and that is equal to 9.68 kg this is our final answer now the next question we have the external diameter of an iron pipe is 25 centimeters and uh, its length is 20 centimeters so we are talking about a pipe is there and uh, if the thickness of the pipe is 1 centimeter so thickness of the pipe means we are talking about that this pipe is there like this so the length of this pipe is given to be 20 centimeter and the external diameter of this pipe is external diameter means we are talking about this length over here 
सो दिस एक्सटर्नल लेंथ ओवर हेयर इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटी मीटर एंड द थिकनेस ऑफ दिस पाइप थिकनेस ऑफ दिस पाइप मीन्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस लेंथ ओवर हेयर इट इज वन सेंटी मीटर वी हैव टू फाइंड द टोटल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ द पाइप सो टोटल सरफेस एरिया मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इंटरनल रीजन दिस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सेकेंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ दिस आउटर रीजन दैन द थर्ड थिंग वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इज द एरिया ऑफ दिस रिंग ओवर हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस रिंग ओवर हेयर सो दिस थिंग वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो वी आर सेंग द एरिया ऑफ this internal region it is you know the formula it is 2 pi r h this is the literal surface area of the cylinder uh, the value of r over here we are saying this is 25 cm so it means radius of this external pipe it is uh, 12.5 cm so radius of this internal pipe over here it is 12.5 minus 1 is equal to 11.5 cm so the area of this pipe will be uh, 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 11.5 and height is 20 similarly the area of this external portion over here it is 2 into 22 by 7 into the radius of this pipe is 12.5 into 20 next we have to calculate the area of this ring so the area of this circular region we have this pi the external radius over here we have it is 12.5 square minus internal radius we have it is 11.5 square now similarly the area of this ring is also same so the total area we have it is 2 into 22 by 7 into we are talking about the sum of these two terms over here these two terms we are talking about so in these two terms what we have is 2 into 22 by 7 is there then this 20 is there these two terms these are common so we are saying it is 2 into 22 by 7 into 20 into 11.5 plus 12.5 we are saying the sum of these two area these are the two values we are talking about so this is the sum of these values and then we are saying plus it is this is the area of Uh, this ring and this is also the value of area of this ring so it is twice pi times when we solve this value it is 12.5 plus 11.5 into 12.5 minus 11.5 so this 12.5 minus 11.5 it is 1 12.5 plus 11.5 it is 20 this value we are saying it is 24 so out of these two values we are saying this 2 into 22 by 7 this is common this 24 is common so what we are left with is we are saying 2 into 22 by 7 into out of this bracket we are left with 20 and from the next bracket we are left with this 1 so we are having it is 2 Into twenty-two by seven. Into twenty-one. Into twenty-four. This twenty-four is also common from these two terms. So this you get seven. Three is a. So when you multiply these values, you will get the answer is three one six eight centimeter square. So this is the total surface area of the pipe that we have to calculate. next it is given that a cylindrical metallic pipe is 14 cm long the difference between the outside and inside surfaces is 44 cm square 
if the pipe is made up of 99 cubic centimeters of metal we have to find the outer and inner radius of the pipe so we are talking about a pipe is there and its inner and outer radii we have to calculate the length of this pipe is 14 cm and it is given that the pipe is made up of 99 cubic centimeters of metal so first of all we have to calculate the volume of the metal so volume of the metal will be uh, volume of this external portion minus volume of this internal portion suppose we are saying the internal radius it is small r and this outer radius it is capital r so volume of both these portion volume of the external portion will be uh, pi capital r square h and volume of the internal portion will be pi small r square h so we get it is pi h is common and we are left with this r square minus r small r square so this is the volume of the metal and this value is given to be 99 second thing that is given to us is that the difference between the outside and the inside surfaces is 44 centimeter square so to calculate this value we are saying that the inside surface area uh, the first we calculate the outside surface area it is 2 pi capital r h and inside surface area it is 2 pi small r h so this value we are talking about it is 2 pi h common and we are left with this capital r minus small r and this value is given to be equal to 44 centi meter scale so we are having two equations over here now if we divide we are talking about these two equations this equation and this equation if we divide these two equations what we have it is pi h into r minus r into r plus r over 2 pi h into r minus r is equal to 40 uh, 99 upon 44 so this pi h gets cancelled r minus r gets cancelled and when we divide these values we are 11 we are getting it is 9 by 4 and this 4 and this get cancelled so what we get is that the value of r plus r is equal to 9 by 2 this is the value of r plus r Similarly, when we are talking about this equation over here, we are having it is 2 pi into value of h it is 14 into r minus r that is equal to 44. So, value of capital R minus small r is equal to 44 by 2 into 14 and this value of pi it is 22 by 7. So, it is 7 by 20. So these two values gets cancelled and we are left with it is capital R minus small r is equal to 1 by 2 and this is capital R plus small r is equal to 9 by 2. Now if we add these two equations we have shown in the next slide that if we add these two equations what we have is it is capital R minus small r is equal to 1 by 2 and capital R plus a small r that is equal to 9 by 2 so if we add these two equations we get 2 times capital R that is equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5 so this gives us r is equal to 5 by 2 so the value of small r that we will get it is capital R minus 1 by 2 so it is 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and this value is equal to 2 so the final answer that we will get is that the outer radius is 2.5 centimeter and inner radius is 2 centimeters. Now next we are given that we have a solid rectangular block of dimension 
and these are the dimension of this block that are given to us rectangular block means we are talking about a cuboidal box over here and uh, it is melted and it is casted mm, it is not melted it is casted into a hollow cylindrical pipe we are talking about a hollow cylindrical pipe is there hollow cylindrical pipe means the pipe is like this uh, whose internal radius this internal radius we are talking about it is 35 centimeter and the thickness we are talking about it is 5 centimeter suppose the length of this pipe we are talking about height of the cylinder it is h so we have to find the thickness of the uh, length of this pipe so we are saying that when a iron rectangular box it is casted into this so volume of both these will remain same we are saying whatever if suppose the volume of this is capital v then the volume of this pipe will be same volume will be in mathematically we say that the volume will be preserved the value of volume will be preserved so what is the volume of this we have to calculate so the volume so to calculate the volume we will calculate the volume of the outer region it is pi capital r square h minus the volume of the internal region so phi h is common and we are left with this r square minus r square so it is phi means and this value this is equal to the volume of this cuboid which is 2.2 into 1.2 into 1 meter cube so the answer we will get it is 2.2 we can write it is 22 by 10 into 12 by 10 now we have meter cubes over here so we want to convert it to centimeter cube and we know that uh, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so we are talking about we have to convert it to centimeter cube so it means we have to multiply 100 raised to the power 3 centimeter cube and this value we are talking over here this is pi h into it is r square so the external radius over here it is 40 square minus the internal radius over here it is 35 square so we get it is 22 by 7 into value of h we want to calculate and this value will become 40 minus 35 is 5 and 40 plus 35 is 75 so the value of h now we have it is 22 by 10 into 12 by 10 into it is six zeros over here then it is into 7 upon 22 into 5 into 75 so these two zeros gets cancelled over here then this 22 gets cancelled over here and uh, when we solve this value we are dividing it with 3 so it is 25 over here and when you will solve this values you will get the final answer is 2240 centimeter the whole question we are solving in terms of centimeter so it is 2240 centimeter and 2240 centimeter means we are talking about it is 22.4 meters so to convert it into meters we are saying it is 2240 by 100 meter and this value comes out to be 22.4 meter now in this next question we are given that a cylinder is there a cylinder is there and uh, the diameter the length of this cylinder it is 15 centimeter and the diameter of this cylinder it is 49 centimeter so radius of this cylinder is 49 by 2 centimeter then a copper wire then a copper wire is there and the diameter of this wire is the diameter of this wire is 6 millimeter that is equal to 6 by 10 is equal to 0 0.6 centimeter so radius of this wire will be 0 0.3 centimeter now this wire is rotated on wrapped on this cylinder so is to be wrapped on the cylinder then we have to find the length and volume of the wire so what we are saying is suppose this wire is wrapped on the cylinder we are talking about this is one rotation that is given over here this is one rotation 
so how many rotations will be there this is one then next 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 now what is the width of this one notation rotation it is equal to the diameter that is 0 0.6 centimeter the total length we want it is 15 centimeter so number of rotations that we will have it is 15 by 0 0.6 is equal to 25 rotations so it means if we have to wrap this wire on this cylinder it will have total 25 rotations now if we calculate the wire used in one rotation over here we are talking about the wire used in one rotation over here so one rotation means we are talking about this wire over here so when we are talking about one rotation it means we are talking about the circumference of this cylinder we are talking about the circumference of this cylinder over here and its value is 2 into 22 by 7 into radius it is 49 by 2 so these two gets cancelled this is 7 7 the 49 and the answer we will get it is 154 centimeter so we are saying when we are talking about one turn over here so the area or the length of the wire that is required is 154 centimeter there are total 25 turns over here so we are talking about the total length we have the total length we have it is 25 into 154 that is equal to 3850 centimeters this is the total length of the wire uh, that is required to wrap this cylinder now the next thing we have to calculate is the volume of this wire so for volume we have the formula pi r square h so it is 22 by 7 what is radius of this wire it is 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 into 3850 so when we will solve this value we will get an answer is 1089 cubic centimeter this is centimeter cube this is the volume of this wire now next thing that is given to us is that the specific gravity of copper is 9 grams per cubic centimeter so what this thing means is that in 1 cubic centimeter the weight of the copper it is 9 grams now how many cubic centimeter what is the volume of this it is 1089 cubic centimeter meter volume so what will be the weight it is 1089 into 9 grams if we convert it to kg it is 1089 into 9 what we know is uh, 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg so if we convert if we replace this kg with grams with kg so we are getting it is 1 by 1000 kg so when you will multiply these two values you will get it is 9801 by 1000 so it is equal to 9.801 kg so this is the weight of the wire next we are talking about a lampshade is there this is the lampshade we are talking about and it is given that it has the base diameter this diameter we are talking about it is 20 centimeter and height over here it is 30 centimeter it is to be covered with a decorative cloth leaving a margin of 2.5 centimeter for folding it over the top as well as for the bottom of the frame so this thing is to be covered with a cloth over here we are talking about that this is to be covered with a cloth like this and the important thing that is given to us is that some margin is to be left on both sides we are saying this is the margin that is being left for top and bottom and that margin we are saying it is 2.5 centimeter so basically we are saying that the cloth that we require this margin basically becomes if we extend these values over here so it is 2.5 centimeter height is increased in this direction and 2.5 centimeter the height is increasing downward direction so the total height this is the total height that we have it is 30 plus 5 is equal to 35 centimeter the base diameter it is 20 centimeter so it is 
what we have to find is we have to find what is the amount of the total cloth for covering the m sheet so the total cloth means we are talking about the lateral surface area and the lateral surface area of the cylinder it is 2 pi r h so it is 2 into 22 by 7 uh, radius over here it is 10 centimeter and height over here it is 30 So these two gets cancelled and the answer we will get it is 2200 centimeter square. So this is the amount of the cloth required for covering the lamp shape. Now the next thing that is given to us is that the sum of the uh, radius of the base and height of the cylinder that is R plus H is equal to 37 meters. The total surface area, total surface area means we are talking about 2 pi r into h plus r this is the formula for total surface area its value is 1628 meter square we have to find the curved surface area and volume of the cylinder so the value of r plus h we have 37 so if we substitute this value over here what we get is it is 2 22 by 7 into r into 37 is equal to 162 8 so the value of r that we have it is 1628 into 7 by 2 into 22 into 37 so the value of r when you will solve these values you will get that the value of r is 7 meters we substitute this value of r in the first equation we get 7 plus h is equal to 37 so this gives us value of h we have it is 30 meters so height is 30 meter and radius is 7 meters so what we get is that the curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h this is the formula for curved surface area of the cylinder so it is 2 into 22 by 7 radius is 7 and height is 30 so these two gets cancelled and the answer we are left with is 1320 meter scale. And the last thing we have to calculate is volume of the cylinder. So formula for volume is pi r square h. So it is 22 by 7. Radius is 7 and height is 30. And the final answer you will get it is 4620 meter next it is given that a metal piece is 77 centimeter long the inner diameter of a cross section is 4 centimeter and the outer diameter being 4.4 centimeter so we are saying that the metal piece is like this how much long it is it is 77 centimeter long it is like this we are saying and the inner diameter of the cross section we are talking about inner diameter means I am talking about this length over here this is 4 centimeter and the outer diameter this diameter over here this is 4.4 centimeter so radius in this case it is 2 centimeter radius in this case this is 2.2 centimeter we have to find its inner curved surface area so inner curved surface area the formula will be 2 pi radius of the inner surface is 2 it is 2 pi r into h is 77 so the value of pi we have it is 22 by 7 so this gets cancelled over here and we are left with 11 over here and when you will solve this value you will get it is 9 6 8 centimeter square second thing we have to calculate is the outer surface area so for outer surface area it is 2 into 22 by 7 into the outer radius it is 2.2 and uh, height we have it is 77 so again these two gets cancelled and we have 11 over here and when you will multiply these values you will get the final answer is in this case the outer curved surface area is 1064.8 centimeter
now the third thing we have to calculate is the curved surface area so for curved surface area we are talking about we have two rings over here one is this ring over here and one is this ring over here so if we calculate the areas of these rings i'm talking about the area of this one ring so it is pi into outer radius over here it is 2.2 it is pi r square minus the internal radius it is 2 square so the answer we will get it is pi into 2.2 plus 2 into 2.2 minus 2 so it is 22 by 7 into 4.2 into 0 0.2 Similarly, uh, we are having two rings like this. One is on this side and one is on this side. So the total area over here it is 2 into this value. Now the answer that we will get for this term it is 5.28. And you will solve this, you will get it is 5.28 centimeter square. So the total surface area that we will have over here it is this thing plus this is the internal area external area plus the area of the two rings so the total area that we will have it is 2032.8 plus 5.28 that is equal to 2038.08 centimeter scale so we are adding these three values this is shown in the next slide that the total the sum of all these three values it is 2038.08 centimeter scale now it is given that the rain water falls on a flat rectangular roof we are talking about the roof is there this is the roof and its dimensions are 22 meter by 10 meter then a pipe is placed over here we are talking about this is a pipe is placed and the water of this roof is transferred to a cylindrical vessel we are talking about over here this is the vessel whose internal radius that is given to us it is 50 centimeter and uh, it is given that on a certain day the rainfall is 2.5 centimeter rainfall is 2.5 centimeter means on this roof the rain is there and the height that we have over here that if the water is collected on this roof then the height over here that is 2.5 centimeter it means the total volume of this water over here it is 22 meters into 10 meter into 2.5 centimeter means 2.5 by 100 meter this is the total volume of the water that is collected on that day and that water is transferred into this cylinder and we have to tell what is the height of this cylinder so height of this cylinder we are talking about suppose it is h so it means up uh, this is not the height of the cylinder it is height up to which the water is being filled we are saying this is the height up to which this water is being filled we are talking about this thing that water is filled up to this height when this much amount of water is shifted over here and this h we have to calculate so what will be the volume of over here it is pi r square means 50 by 100 into 50 by 100 into h so this decimal we remove from this we get 1000 so these two zeros are removed this one zero is removed uh, we are left with this 10 and this 50 we are left with 5 over here so the value of h that we will get it is 22 into 10 into 25 this is also 22 by 7 so it is into 7 by 22 into 1 by 5 into 1 by 50 so this 22 gets cancelled over here it is 5 2 is 10 this is 25 into 2 is 50 so the height that we have it is 7 meters so 
so these are the two things that we have to calculate we have to calculate the volume and the height of the water filled in the cylinder so the two answers that we get is that the volume that we will have when you will solve this value you will get it is 5.5 meter cube and the height of the cylinder that you will get it is 7 meters now we have to find the lateral and curved surface area of a closed cylindrical storage tank which is 4.2 meter in diameter and 4.5 meter high so 4.2 meter in diameter means we are talking about it is 2.1 meter radius so the radius of the cylinder that we this and the height we have it is 4.5 meters so the curved surface area the formula we have it is 2 pi r h and for total surface area it is 2 pi r h plus area of the two uh, circular portions that is 2 pi r square so when we will substitute the values in these two formulas which is 2 into 22 by 7 radius we have it is 2.1 and height we have it is 4.5 so on solving this value we are writing 2.1 as 21 by 10 and 4.5 as 4 by 10 and on solving this value we get that the curved surface area is 59.4 meter square similarly in the total surface area we are using this formula we take 2 pi r common and we are left with this h plus r we substitute these values over here it is 2 into 22 by 7 then radius is 2.1 and r plus h means 4.5 plus 2.1 so 4.5 plus 2.1 means 6.6 .6. again 2.1 we are writing it as 21 by 10 and 6.6 .6 we are writing it as 6 by 10 so the final answer we get it is 87.12 meter square so we are saying these this is the uh, curved surface area or lateral surface area and this is the total surface area now we have to calculate in the second part we are talking about we have to calculate how much steel was actually used in it if one twelfth of the steel actually used was wasted in making the tank so suppose we are saying that uh, the steel used in making the tank be x meter square then it is given that 1 by 12th of this value it is wasted so 1 by 12th of its value means that we are talking about the wasted steel it is x by 12 so it is basically 1 by 12 into x meter square so it is x by 12 meter square so the area of the steel used in the tank is we are saying x minus x by 12 meter so we are saying the actual area of the steel used is x this much steel is wasted so we are talking about that the steel used in the tank area of the steel used in the tank is this value and this is equal to 11 x by 12 and this should be equal to 87.12 meter square so what we get is 11x by 12 is equal to 87.12 so the value of x we have it is 87.12 into 12 by 11 into 100 we have removed this decimal and 100 is over there so when we divide these two values we are getting it is uh, when we divide these two values we get it is 7 9 2 and it is into 12 so the answer it is 9 5 0 4 by 100 so that is equal to 95.04 meter scale so this is the value of the is 95.04 this is the value of the actual steel used in making the tank now in this question we have to find the area of the chart paper used to make 
द कर्ड सरफेस एरिया ऑफ ए मॉडल ऑफ ए सिलेंड्रिकल कलाडोस्कोप ऑफ लेंथ ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड रेडियस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो वी आर सेंग द लेंथ इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड रेडियस ओवर हेयर इट इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर फॉर द गिवन सिलेंड्रिकल कलाडोस्कोप वी हैव द रेडियस ऑफ द बेस दिस एंड दिस दिस इज गिवन टू अस सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द चार्ट पेपर यूज फॉर द कर्व सर्फेस टू कवर द कर्व सर्फेस सो इट मीन्स यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द कर्व सर्फेस एरिया एंड द फार्मूला फॉर द कर्व सर्फेस एरिया इट वीट नो इट इज टू पाई आर एच इज सब्सिट्यूट बी वैल्यू इट इज टू पाई इज ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन आर इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड हाइट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो The values that we will, when we will solve this value, we are writing thirty-five, three point five as thirty-five by ten. So seven, five is thirty-five. Two, five, and ten gets cancelled. And when you will multiply twenty-two with twenty-five, you will get the answer is five hundred fifty centimeter square. So this is the area of the chart paper required to make the Kaleido. Now the next question we have: How much cardboard is required to make thirty-five pen holders in the shape of cylinders, each of radius three centimeter and height ten centimeters? So we are talking about that. What will be the shape over here? We are talking about this will be the shape. It will be open from this side. So the total area that we are talking about is this. Curved surface area plus area of the base, this circular base that is required over here because it is open from this side. So curved surface area we have the formula two pi r h and area of the base it is pi r square. So the total area that we require it is two pi r h plus pi r square. And how many holders we have to make? We have to make thirty-five holders. This is the area of one pen holder. We have to make thirty-five holders, so we will multiply it with thirty-five. So what we will get it is thirty-five into twenty-two by seven into r. This thing is common. So from the first bracket we are saying pi r we have. So we are left with it two into h. Plus pi r we have taken common, so it is r over here. So answer is thirty five into twenty two by seven into uh, radius is given to be three into two into ten point five plus three. So two into ten point five means we are talking about this value is twenty one and twenty one plus. Three we are saying, so it is twenty four. So it is seven five thirty five. So the final answer we have it is five into twenty two into three into twenty four, and this value comes out to be seven nine two zero centimeter square. So this is the total amount of cardboard that is required. Uh, next we are given a rectangular sheet of paper. Forty-four centimeter into twenty centimeter is rolled along its length. That is, we are talking about it is rolled along this length over here, and a cylinder is formed. So, what basically we have done, we have joined this to this, and this to this, and we have rolled it like this. So, we have made the cylinder over here. So, the cylinder that is made over here, its height is twenty centimeter. And this forty-four centimeter portion that was over here, for this from this forty-four centimeter portion, this much portion is formed. That is, if we are saying we are talking about this portion over here, so its circumference is two pi r. It means the value of two pi r we have it is forty-four. So this is two into twenty-two by seven into r is equal to forty-four. So we get R is equal to this value will become forty four. These two gets cancelled. It is seven centimeter. 
so what we get is that the radius of this circle it is 7 centimeters so we have to find the volume of the cylinder formed so the volume of this cylinder now we have the radius is 7 and height is this so the formula we have it is pi r square h so pi r square h centimeter cube so the answer we will get it is 22 by 7 into r square means radius square we are saying 7 into 7 into height we have it is 20 so these two 7 gets cancelled and the answer we will get it is 3080 centimeter cube so this is the volume of this cylinder next we are given the radii of two cylinders are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their heights are in the ratio 5 is to 3 so we have considered that uh, r and h they are two constants over here so what we have is that the radius will be 2r and 3r and h is the constant so height will be 5h and 3 times h now the next thing that is given to us is we have to calculate is the ratio of their volume and ratio of their curved surface areas so to calculate the ratio of volumes we are saying v1 volume of the first cylinder it is pi we write these values over here that v1 over v2 we want to calculate so it is pi so what is the radius of the first cylinder it is 2r square into 5h over pi it is 3r square the square is outside this bracket into 3h so this is equal to pi 4r square into 5h over pi into 9r square into 3h this h this r square and pi gets cancelled and what we are left over here it is 20 by 27 similarly we are saying the curved surface areas we are talking about the ratio of the curved surface area and the formula we know it is 2 pi r into h over 2 pi r into h so h gets cancelled r gets cancelled 2 r pi gets cancelled and what we are left with is 10 by 9 so these are the two required ratio that the ratio of volumes will be 20 by 27 and ratio of the areas will be 10 is to 9 the volume of the metallic cylindrical pipe is 748 centimeter cube its length is 14 centimeter and its external radius is 9 centimeter we have to find the thickness so what is given to us is that a pipe is there and the volume of this pipe is given to us its length is given to be 14 centimeter and its external radius is this external radius we are talking about it is 9 centimeters suppose the thickness over here we are talking about it is r x or we are saying that the internal radius over here its value is r so what is the volume of the metal over here the outer volume it is pi into the radius over here it is 9 square into 14 minus pi internal radius we are saying r and this is 14 height is 14 and the volume of this pipe is given to be 748 centimeter cube so what we have is 748 is equal to 22 by 7 into 14 this is common and it is 9 square minus r square so it is 81 minus r square is equal to 748 into 7 uh, these two gets cancelled it is 2 over here so what we get is over 44 and this value is equal to 17 so we get r square is equal to 81 minus 17 that is equal to 64 
so this gives us r is equal to 8 centimeter so this r is equal to 8 centimeter and this external diameter over here this is internal diameter is 8 centimeter and external diameter is 9 centimeter so what is the thickness of this wire it is 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 centimeter and this is what we have to calculate that find its thickness next question a lead pencil consists of a cylinder of wood with a solid cylinder of graphite filled into it the diameter of the pencil is 7 millimeter the diameter of the graphite is 1 millimeter so and the length of the pencil is 14 centimeters so what is given to us is suppose this is the pencil we are talking about and in this pencil we are saying uh, this graphite is there this is the graphite that we have so length of this pencil is given to be 14 centimeter the diameter of the pencil is the diameter of the pencil means we are talking about this much portion it is 7 millimeter and diameter of the graphite we are talking about this portion over here this is 1 millimeter so that is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter and this portion is 0 0.7 centimeter now the first thing we have to calculate is the volume of the graphite so for volume of the graphite we are saying it is pi r square h the formula is this so it is 22 by 7 and a radius over here it is uh, 0 0.1 by 2 that is equal to 1 by 20 centimeters so we have this radius is 1 by 20 and it is square over here so it is 1 by 20 and the height we have it is 14 so this is the volume of the graphite we are talking about and when we solve this value we have shown this calculation over here 22 by 7 1 by 20 into 14 and the value we get over here these two values gets cancelled over here it is 2 this is 10 and this value gets cancelled and we are left with 11 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.11 centimeter cube now the next thing we have is diameter of the pencil so diameter of the pencil we are saying it is 0 0.7 centimeter so radius of the pencil will be 7 by 20 centimeter so we have to find the volume of the wood so we are talking about first the volume of the pencil so it will be pi uh, that is 22 by 7 then it is r square radius over here it is 7 by 20 into 7 by 20 and height we have it is 14 so this 7 gets cancelled over here and uh, when we solve this value we get the answer is 5.39 centimeter cube so this is the volume of the pencil so volume of the wood is the volume of the pencil that is 5.39 centimeter cube minus the volume of the graphite so when we subtract these two values uh, this calculation is shown on the next slide that when we subtract these two values 5.39 and 0 0.11 we get 5.38 centimeter cube now the next thing that is given to us is that the specific gravity of the wood is 0 0.7 grams per centimeter cube and for the graphite is 2.1 gram per centimeter cube so we have to find the weight of the whole pencil so we are saying the volume of the wood it is 5.28 centimeter cube volume of the graphite it is 0 0.11 centimeter cube next the specific gravity we are talking about it is 0 0.7 grams is 0 0.7 grams per cubic centimeter and it is 2.1 gram per cubic centimeter this is for the wood and this is for the graphite so we are saying that uh, 
वन क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर वेस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन ग्राम सो फाइव पॉइंट टू एट सेंटीमीटर क्यूब विल वेट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन इंटू फाइव पॉइंट टू एट ग्राम्स सिमिलरली वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस वैल्यू वी आर सेंग वन सी सी इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट वन ग्राम देन जीरो पॉइंट वन वन सी सी विल बी इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन वन ग्राम सो द टोटल दिस वैल्यू दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू थ्री वन ग्राम्स एंड दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन सिक्स ग्राम्स यू टॉक अबाउट दीज टू वैल्यू सो दिस इज वन वैल्यू एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड वैल्यू वी हैव सो द टोटल वेट ऑफ द वुड विल बी द सम ऑफ दीज टू वैल्यूज एंड सम ऑफ दीज टू वैल्यूज इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन टू सेवन ग्राम्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज थर्टी सर्कुलर प्लेट्स ईच ऑफ रेडियस फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर एंड थिकनेस थ्री सेंटीमीटर आर प्लेस वन अब द अदर टू फॉर्म ए सिलेंड्रिकल सॉलिड सो वी आर सेंग देर आर थर्टी सर्कुलर प्लेट्स लाइक दिस दैट आर प्लेस ऑन वन एन अदर द रेडियस द प्लेट इफ वी आर टॉक अबाउट वन प्लेट द प्लेट इज लाइक दिस दैट इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए सिलेंडर ओवर हेयर द रेडियस ऑफ दिस इज फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर एंड थिकनेस ओवर हेयर इट इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो and these plates these are placed on one another so find the total surface area and volume of the cylinder so form so we are saying the figure that will be formed over here its radius is 14 cm and this total height will be 3 into 30 that is equal to 90 cm so we have to calculate the total surface area and volume of the cylinder uh, this figure we are talking about we have to calculate the total surface area and volume of this figure so total surface area we know it is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square so when we substitute this value it is 2 pi is 22 by 7 radius we have it is 14 cm and height we are saying it is 90 this thing we have calculated plus r it is 14 and when you solve this value you will get the answer is 9152 cm square and the formula for the volume we have it is pi r square h so so when we substitute these values over here pi is 22 by 7 r square is 14 into 14 and value of height we have it is 90 when we solve these values we will get the answer is 55440 cm cube so this is the volume of the cylinder so these are the two things that we have to calculate next we are given that a rectangular sheet of paper is there this is the rectangular sheet of paper this side we are saying it is 30 cm and this side we are saying it is 18 cm then uh, this sheet is rolled to make the right circular cylinder in two forms one we are saying we have rolled this sheet we are talking about <coughs> this thing that we have rolled this sheet that we have joined this edge to this edge and joined this edge to this edge and we have obtained a cylinder over here we have obtained a cylinder over here and second time we have joined this edge with this edge and this second edge with this edge over here and we have obtained a cylinder like this so what we have is that in this case the height of the cylinder is 18 cm and circumference over here it is 30 cm in this case height is 30 cm and circumference over here it is 18 cm so we have to find the ratio of the volumes of the two cylinder so in this case we are talking about the radius of this cylinder so it is 2 pi r is equal to 30 so this gives us r is equal to 30 over 2 pi that is equal to 15 by 5 in this case the radius is 2 pi r is equal to 18 so we get r is equal to 9 by 5 so if we calculate the volume in both these cases we get that the volume of this first cylinder the volume of this first cylinder it is v is equal to it is pi r1 square h1 square so r1 over here it is 15 by pi square and height in this case it is 
Now in the second case, the radius it is 9 by pi and the height we have it is 30 centimeter. So in both these cases, we are having the answer 4050 by pi centimeter cube. And in this case, we are having the answer 2430 centimeter cube. So we have to find the ratio of these two values. It is volume 1. This is volume 2. So V1 by V2 we get, we divide these two values. So it is 4050. We are writing it in this form that it is 4050 by pi upon it is 2430 by pi. So this term, when it comes in the numerator, it will be inverted over here. So this pi gets cancelled and we are left with this 4050 over 2430 and this ratio comes out to be 5 by 3 that is 5 is to 